Yo, what's good, y'all? Do we here today? We are gonna learn how to draw shirts on characters, and let's get it cracking. Today we got our two models, male and female. So you want to go ahead and go get your sketch brush. Personally, I like six B. Big mistake a lot of people make is they go ahead and do that right there. That is a no-no. You want a regular collar around the neck, and then you want to kind of follow the pattern of the shoulder. Now, here's where it gets a little different. Uh, now you want to go ahead and follow that line under but you don't want a skin tight you don't want to follow it all the way down because we don't want skin tight shirt you want to kind of go down regularly because you know most people wear regular shirts you can add a little curve to it just to make it a little more like slim fit in shirts and then you erase everything that's under just like so and i forgot to add before you want to start drawing a garment you want to make sure that you know exactly what, what you want to start drawing with whether it's a long sleeve whether it's a hoodie or whatever the case is but for the sake of the video i decided to just do a shirt now pretty much what i'm doing right here is i lowered the opacity under and i grabbed the cleaner uh brush so that way i can ink over it and pretty much all i'm doing is just following the sketch that i did under this um and I mess around with line variation a lot, so making some of the lines more thicker, more thin, putting them together, I feel like it adds a little more character. And I do like to add a little line to make it look as if it's falling behind the shoulders, just like that. Um, I think it adds to the shirt a little more. And then also I like to add a collar uh to the shirt because every shirt has a collar <laughs> so now that we have a shirt i like to add more details uh personally i like to add lines like right under the chest just like that just to show that there's like uh like little folds in different areas and stuff like that so right here what i'm doing is i'm picking a different brush so that way i can add some color to this dude's shirt and what i did was i opened a layer under the layer that i drew the shirt on now there is a uh, faster ways to color but this is personally more satisfying to me so now that we have the coloring down of this dude's shirt that is pretty much how you draw a shirt if you want to add a little more detail which i like to do you add shading just like this um and yeah that's pretty much a shirt on a guy and now that we got this one down let's go on to the female so this is our female model right here a little afro puff girl you know what i'm saying all right now let's get it cracking so first of all uh you want to figure out what shirt you want to do you could do v-neck you could do the little dress crop right there uh you could do a little bikini like that but for the sake of the video right now we're just going to do a regular shirt you want to go ahead and draw a little uh, see under the neck and personally I see more girls uh, wear like tighter shirts anyways so this one is also gonna be a bit more skin tight and you're just gonna follow the shoulder just like that the rest of the shirt drawing you're pretty much just gonna go ahead and go over the initial lines that you had just the outlines add a little collar but um, since it is a bit more skin tight, you're just going to pretty much follow the same exact thing that you had. And just like in the last drawing that I did, I went ahead and uh, lowered the opacity. And now I'm about to go over it with inking right here like this. And like I previously said, don't be afraid to mess around with line variation. Uh, add thicker lines in the parts where you want it to be a bit more exaggerated and thinner lines where the lines in I personally think that adds to your drawing uh, You go ahead and erase everything that's inside and it's time to color pick your brush and I chose the color yellow for the female and That is pretty much how you draw a shirt on a female now i know these tutorials are a lot more simple so if you'll let me know in the comment section what type of tutorials that you'd like me to do next that'd be dope thanks for watching and i'm out peace